Arsenal 2, Wolves nil. player ratings. Let's start with David Dreyer. Um, fantastic performance from him. Um, good saves, three, four good saves. I'm going to give him um, an 8 out of 10 for today. Could even have been more. I'm thinking, should I even give him more? Because he kept a clean sheet on top of that. I usually give an extra point for a clean sheet. But... I'm going to I'm going to give him an eight, but if I was giving Haz, it would have been an eight point five. I think Raya was really good there, so I would understand if you gave him a nine, I'll be happy with that as well. But for now, I'm going to give him an eight out of ten. A good way to start this season, very very good way. So eight out of ten for David Dreyer. Right back Ben White. What am I going to give Ben White today? Defensively, uh, he didn't really make any mistake. A lot of our players gave away the ball at least once, but Benoit didn't really see it at all today. Um, he kept a clean sheet today. Didn't get forward a lot of times. Actually, Timber came on and we saw him running down the right side like twice. We didn't see White going forward a lot today. But I think he, he dealt well with it. We kept a clean sheet, so I'm just going to give Ben White a 7 out of 10 for today. Um, Zinchenko, when, when did he go off? In the uh, Let's see. He went off in the 68th minute. So... For Zinchenko, um, there's a couple of very good recoveries, recovery runs he made. As I said, when Pate lost the ball, I think it was the first half. Zinchenko covered, I think, second half or first half. I think it was second half. He covered well for him, came back, defended well. I don't think he really got exposed. It was the usual give, give away the ball once or twice in the game. Forward, he didn't do a lot. There's only one time like he was involved when um, just before halftime, Rice got the ball, I think, to Zinchenko, and then Zinchenko made a good pass to, I think it was Ben White, and then Ben White made the pass to Rice, and then we won a corner kick from that. That was a good play, but... Um, I don't think he was um bad today, no. So Zinchenko, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. He definitely has a lot of competition in that position. Like with Calafiori and Timba, like a lot of fans think it's very, very easy to just drop Zinchenko and bring in Timba and Calafiori, which is true. So he needs to like really play at a very, very high level to be chosen for a few games. Otherwise, like last season, at the end of last season, he was dropped a lot. But... I'm an advocate for Jesus, and I wanted Zinchenko to stay on this season. So hopefully, um, when he, when he's given the chance to play, he does perform well. As usual, as we know, he don't play Zinchenko up against Salah or Foden. We know he's going to suffer. But in games like this, where you're going to dominate possession, although we didn't in the second half, I think that is why he's, he was even taken off for Timber, um, just to bring that um, defensive solidity. I think he was okay. Zinchenko, 7 out of 10. The centre-backs. Now, Saliba, for most of the game, he was really good. Like the first half... I saw and I saw there's some stats on, on, on X. Um, first time I'm calling it X, by the way, I just call it Twitter. I think he had like four out of four duels. I think he won 100% of his duels in the first half. He bullied their striker. He was looking sharp. He was making good passes, good tackles in the midfield, just even before the ball got into our area. He was really good. And I think the most of the game is really good in the second half as well. But the ball he gave away, that is very suicidal. You cannot do that. Out of all the mistakes we made today, I think that was the worst today, the one that Saliba gave away today. Luckily, we weren't punished. Raya made a save from that. It was kind of a weak shot, but Raya made a save from that. So for that, I have to punish his player ratings. Uh, we kept a clean sheet, yes, but for that mistake, you don't usually see that from Saliba. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. I'll I'll rewatch the game again for sure. I'll confirm the stats and what I, what I missed and all that. And then I'll see if there's anything I'm missing from Saliba. I don't think there's much that I'm missing. First half, I know he was really good. Second half, uh, we were giving away the ball a lot of times. So 7 out of 10 for Saliba. Gabriel, um, same. He didn't give away the ball a lot of times, but those free kicks. So he gave away like two silly free kicks. Um, I don't think he got booked, but two silly free kicks. But first half, he made a good block. Um, always, always very good. In terms of the first half, we were dominating the game. Um, there's a point where I think in the 50th minute, I was like, yeah, they, they might not even have a shot on target because of Gabriel and Saliba there because they just, you know, like just control everything at the back. But the second half, we gave them a few opportunities. So that is why even though we get a clean sheet today, they're only getting seven out of 10. So um, Ben White, seven, Gabriel, seven, Saliba, seven, Zinchenko, seven, um, Raya, eight. I think Raya was the best in terms of our defensive line. So eight out of 10 for him. Thomas Party again. This is, a, this is another hard one for our Thomas Party. First half, really good. Um, second half, though, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. he gave away the ball three times in that second half, and two of them almost led to goals. Um, in dangerous positions, because in Patti's position, in Saliba's position, when you give away the ball in those areas, you're in trouble, because you give away the ball, they can just have a shot in this score. It's easy as that. So you need to be very, very, very careful. So Patti for today, 
I have to punish him for that second half. I'm not going to give him too low because I saw some good things in and around the game. Also, I've just remembered there's a time he got a chance to shoot the ball in the first half and he miskicked it. You remember that with his left foot? There's that as well. But the rest of the performance was okay. I really wanted to give him, a, if I was giving hearts, it would have been a 6.5. So I'm, going, I'm just going to give him a 7 out of 10 because the rest of the game was okay. But it is a 7 out of 10 close to a 6.5 more than it is close to a 7.5 so wasn't happy that for a second half it was just if i was just um rating the second half it would have been like a five out of ten because he made a lot of mistakes in the second half so seven out of ten for party again i'll rewatch the game to see anything i missed i'll check the stats to see how he did in terms of interceptions and tackles and all that but seven out of ten for him declan rice um the corner kicks from rice saka had a couple of poor corner kicks today Rice is okay in the first half again. Rice was really good in the first half. He was winning the ball back for us. He was, um, you know, um, what uh, communicating well with Martinelli. He was distributing the ball well. He tried a couple of crosses as well. Um, the usual Rice performance, interceptions, tackles in midfield, it does great, but it wasn't a standout. It wasn't a complete standout like we are used to from Declan Rice. Didn't have to be. Didn't have to be a standout performance from Saliba Declan Rice. Just needed to do what he needed to do on first day, and then from the next games, you can now start being 100% sharp. So. 7 out of 10 for him as well. A lot of 7s today. 7 out of 10 for Declan Rice as well. Odegaard. Hmm. This could be a lot of 7s, I'm just realizing, because I don't think any of them really stood out. It was just an okay performance. Good for part of it, poor for part of it. So, yeah, I can't give them 6s and 5s, though, because we still won the game, and they still, um, first half, they kept Wolves quiet, apart from that header from um, last season. But Odegaard today, there's that flick in the, in the first half for Kai Havertz, really, really good. Um, the shot in the second half, there's a time Wolves are dominating their possession and then Odegaard, Odegaard got an opportunity to shoot the ball and he shot it and very, very good shot. We needed that at that moment because Wolves are starting to get too much into the game. So we needed that um, chance from Odegaard, that, uh, that um, shot just to, you know, win a corner, put Wolves back under pressure. So Odegaard for today, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. So that is... Um, that is seven, seven out of tens in a row. So I think I think that is fair enough. I don't think any of them really stood out. But the forward players, I think, are going to have different ratings. Bukayo Saka today, very, very good goal. We 100% needed that goal. Um, it would have been um, chaotic if he got into the last 10 minutes, still 1 nil. The cross from Saka was really good. Um, the goal from him was really good. Like, I think the goal was 9 out of 10, and the cross was a 9 out of 10 as well. So really, really good individual brilliance from him there. Um, he shot the, the ball in the first half and went down with a kind of an injury. It was very, very wide. You don't want that on day one, especially uh, before we've bought, we've bought um, a backup for him. So Saka for today, I'm going to give him... Um, is 8 out of 10 fair? I think that is fair. I think that is fair. Uh, the rest of the game... I don't think we did too much in terms of attacking and shot after shot after shot. Although Saka had like three or four shots and the goals came from him. If he had maybe another assist, I would have given him a 9 out of 10 or maybe a couple of amazing things he did in that game I would have given him a 9 out of 10. But I think 8 out of 10 is fair enough. We won the game today because of Saka. The cross was from him and the goal was from him. And it wasn't like easy crosses or easy goal, uh, an easy goal. No, he did a lot to help us get that. So I'm going to give him 8 out of 10. Let me know in the comments, what did you give Saka out of 10? Just write Saka and then yeah, you're rating for him. Um, Martinelli. Martinelli. Oof. First half, he intercepted the ball a couple of times as well. Um, he had he had that shot that was cleared off the line. Um, I was okay with him doing that. He tried a cross before that, and then he tried a shot. No problem with that. He didn't really stand out a lot. You didn't really see making those runs in behind or take on the player too much. Second half, everyone was quiet. So I'm just going to give him a 7 out of 10. But even that 7 out of 10 could, could easily be a 6 out of 10. So I've given Patti and Martinelli 7 out of 10, but... It could easily be 6 out of 10. I don't think they were absolutely amazing today. So 7 out of 10 for Martinelli. Kai Havertz, I'm going to give him the same as uh, Bukaya Saka. He got the goal. Very, very good run. Very, very good header. And the assist as well for Saka. So both of them, goal plus, plus assist. They didn't really like stand out completely. But Havertz did um, do other things as well. Saka as well. Both of them, they win free kicks for us when you're trying to um, take away pressure from us. Um, Harvest is a time he, held, he intercepted the ball in the first half and then put us on the attack and the defender had to foul him and he picked up a yellow card from that. He even Today, he even turned into a wrestler, you know. He turned, he turned to Cody Rhodes being attacked by the bloodline. That was him. You know, Kai Havertz, he did everything today, I guess, 8 out of 10. Second half, the chance that he missed... 
not great. So um, get it on target. It wasn't a bad miss, but um, get the shot on target. So 8 out of 10 for Kai Havertz as well. So I've given Havertz, Sack, and Raya the, the best rating out of the players that um, started the game. Second half, Timber was the first sub to come on. I think Timber was okay. Uh, there's a couple of times we saw some skills from him. Um, so he lost the ball after that, though, uh, after the, in the second half. But we saw the 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 quality of Timber. Like if he starts a game and gives you that for 60 minutes, fantastic. So for a player who's coming off the bench, it's, it's hard. When did he come on? 60, 68th minute. Mm. I'm just going to give him a 7 out of 10. I feel like it's too high because he only played 25 minutes. But we saw some skill from him like three times on the right side uh, when he was close to um, picking out a cross. And the second, like in the final two minutes of the game, where he dribbled past those players. I think it was okay. And then he, ca he came on as well. I didn't consider goal. So 7 out of 10 for him. And the rest came on too late. I didn't really even get to see um, Trossard and um, Gabriel Jesus. That uh, Jesus actually did okay in the midfield, um, like in the midfield areas, as Aston Villa scored their first goal of the season. Um, Trossard, I'm going to give him mm, just a six out of ten. Wasn't on for too long, to be honest. Jesus as well, six out of ten. Um, he did well. I think he won us a free kick, and then he was dribbling well in the midfield. Six out of ten for him as well. We only made three subs today, correct? I don't think we brought in anyone else. Let me just confirm that. I don't think anyone else came on. Um, Nelson Ketia, Jesus came on, Trotter came on, Timba, yeah, Calafieri and Georginia didn't come on. So, yeah, that, those are my ratings um, for today. Um, Mikel Ateta, rating Mikel Ateta for today. Listen, first game of the season, we won 2 nil. We had a lot of shots in the first half. You weren't sitting back. Second half wasn't great. The first 20 minutes of the second half wasn't great. Um, you can argue that maybe you should have brought in Trossard earlier. Um, fair enough. Maybe Timbo Calafiori a bit early, maybe 60th minute, but we kept the clean sheet. So I'm just going to give him a 7 out of 10 as well. 7 out of 10 is the, the default for today because a lot of them weren't that great, but they weren't too bad. They were okay for majority of the game. So 7 out of 10 for Mikel Ateta. Man of the match. I'm going to put a poll on YouTube after this show, but let me know if you're watching on a different platform. Who was your man of the match? And even if you're watching on YouTube, who was your man, or man of the match today? Was it Saka? Was it Harvard? Was it um, Rare with those three, four good saves that he made? Um, I think those are the candidates. I don't think um, the rest like stood out at, at, at all. No. 